Kalimera everyone. I am in Sipnos yet again and this morning we are going to the Vrisi Monastery. I have not been to this one. I did not make it to this monastery when I was here before so I'm excited to see. Uh, they've made the garden very lovely outside this monastery. Lots of flowers and it feels very nice and beautiful, and it has an amazing view of Castro. Uh, let's see if I can show you really quickly. Everyone's gone inside though, so let's see. Ah, uh, yes, amazing view of Castro. All right, we are now going to go up to the rooftop because apparently there's an amazing view up here. And the father has said that we can. He's been very generous with his letting us come and see all the views and things up here. Oh, look at this. How lovely. It's like a little Greek village in here. All right, and here's the fabulous view from the monastery. Makes you want to become a nun or a monk and live here because it's so fabulous. Ah. This amazing view. There's a windmill over there. And we were on the other side of this little the church dome. It's amazing. All right, we are now at the Chrysopigi Monastery. It's very beautiful. What I love about it is that you walk through the monks' quarters and then you get this amazing view of the church when you walk in. So. It's beautiful. It's right on the sea. Uh, I came here in September and the church is very tiny, uh, but it's very, very beautiful. And I'll show you the church and then we'll see the sea view. So this is the view from this side before you go in. It's very windy today though. Very, very windy. Okay, we're now across at the beach and there is Chrysopigi from here and this beach is stunning. We're having a little lunch and then we're going to do some swimming. I will put the name of this beach down somewhere on the screen because I don't think I can pronounce it. Of course, everything is amazing and so are the zucchini balls. I have to try them everywhere, you know this. We are now at the beach to swim for a little bit. I didn't come to this beach before, even though one of the locals highly recommended it to me. So, uh, but yes, it's lovely. It's a beautiful beach. The water is super clear. So I highly recommend it. Uh, now, one of the best things to do here in Siftos, and that is eat, because it is known as the gastronomical island. So we're going to go to dinner now in Ardemonas, uh, but I think we're having a short walk beforehand. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of this village. This is one of the things I love about Siftos, is all of the villages are so beautiful and so quaint and charming. This is our dinner location. It's, it looks like they have their own garden. It's amazing. Incredible views of the mountain and this lovely church here and then down to the valley and this is the restaurant here. This is the Mastello that Sifnos is absolutely known for and it is very slow roasted so I'm gonna dig into it um, and I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Now in Apollonia, I love this little walk. There are all these little shops and all these amazing little churches as well along here. There's so many churches on this island. Somebody said 250. Uh, not exactly sure if that's correct but I'm going with it. This is the beautiful inside. This is one of the most elaborate altars I've seen. The church was built in 1768, according to the mantelpiece. And look, you can't see it because of the sun, but the painting on the wall is spectacular. Look at the uh, chandelier. 
Fabulous. I don't know the name of the church, though I need to look. So this is actually a private church, it's Agios Sostos, and it's actually three saints that it's dedicated to, so, and the man was nice enough to stop and tell us about it, and he, now he's closed the door, so, and last year when I came it was not open, so, you know, this is part of the reason you come back multiple times to places, because you just never know what you're going to see every time. So this road is called the Steno and so at night there's all these bars and restaurants that open up so if you're here and you want to have a night out this is the place to come. I'm going up to this uh, bag shop and it's up these little stairs. How cute is this? Okay so this is them. Her name is Maria and she's been making them for 27 years in here in Sifnos and she makes everything upstairs by herself and they're really good quality and she has all the fabrics and everything and there's so many to choose from but I, I did get one. <laughs> all right we are now going on a rib boat trip. I don't even know where we're going yet. We've discussed many places so uh, so this is going to be great and it's super hot today so we're going to really appreciate swimming. And now we're going to swim here in this beautiful scenery. Look at the color of the water. It's absolutely stunning. So, so this island is protected, so there is no development allowed on this island. To give you some perspective, Kimlos and Milos are that way. day here in Sifnos, full day. Um, I'm so enjoying this. This has been so relaxing. I'm in Castro today. I love this little village. Um, it's this walled city up on this hill. So it's not the best time of day to come and walk around Castro, but there's a nice breeze. So it's not too bad and I'm not going to stay for that long. I'm just going to enjoy it, take some photos, have a coffee. This is one of the few places that I've seen with a red door, and this is a church, so that's intriguing to me, <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful. And this is one of the things I remember about Castro, as there are churches everywhere. Uh, so outside of town, inside of town, out on the rock, so uh, beautiful places though. I think it's time now to have a drink. I was gonna have a coffee, but I think I want something cold. So I think I will treat myself to a Coca-Cola. Let's see. I'm now sort of lost in the maze up here. I have to figure out how to get back down to where I came from. Settled on a Coke Zero. It's just too hot for a hot coffee. It's fine. It sounds refreshing and my ride's gonna be here in like 30 minutes. So it's enough time for me to sit and relax, which I don't often do on these trips, and enjoy the view. This was my favorite meal of the week. This place is in Apollonia, and they had stunning salads. And you know my favorite, zucchini balls. They were also great. And I really enjoyed the atmosphere of this place, and it was very clear that it was popular with all the locals. Well, another adventure is coming to the end. Sifnos is fast becoming one of my favorite islands in Greece for obvious reasons and I have absolutely enjoyed every minute of this trip and my stay. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next adventure.